Hello and welcome everyone. I am Ayaz and today we are diving into an exciting tutorial on how to bring your Angular 17 applications to life with animation.css. Whether you are a seasoned pro or just starting with Angular, this tutorial will guide you through the integrating eye-catching animations with ease. So let's get animated. First, let's talk about the animate.css. It's a library of ready to use animations that can make your web elements bounce, slide, fade and more. The best part is that you don't need to be a CSS wizard to use it. Today we will see how to integrate these animations in Angular 17. Let's start by setting up your Angular environment. I am assuming that you already have Angular CLI installed. If not, head over to Angular website for installation instructions or you can also watch my previous videos that I already have recorded on that. Now watch as I create a new angular project. So for that open the new terminal and type this command. Press enter and this will create a new project for you. As I already have created the new project and it is currently running in my browser and opened in my vs code. So I will be using that one. Now let's add animate.css to your project. For that, open your terminal and run this command. Press enter. This command installs animate.css and adds it to adds it to our project dependencies. Next, we need to import the animate.css in our Angular application. So for that, open the global styles.css and in the that is in the root of your project and add this line import this imports animate.css making its animations available throughout our application now let's put animate.css to work open the app.component.html and here i will add a simple button element all right and i will add few classes okay now let's open it in the browser uh, it could not find the css file so let's quickly look at All right, now you can see it is working and you reload it, the button animates. So let me bring the button in the middle. All right, it is working now. So notice the animate double underscore animated and animate double underscore bounce classes. These are from animate.css. Animate double underscore animated is required to start animations and animate double underscore bounce applies a specific bounce animation so whenever you make a change save it and go to the browser and you will see that animation has been applied further you can go to their documentation to see the list of all of the available animations that you can use for example uh, you want to try this one or so for example you like this one or this one just click on the copy class name to the clipboard it will copy it and paste it here now reload it and you can see that animation has been applied let's try a few more okay so you can also repeat it infinitely so for that add it here so this is the example animate animated animate bounce and here you can specify the repetition so for example i have added the uh, infinite so that's why it will never stop and it will keep animating now let's take it a step further angular's binding capabilities allows us to control animations dynamically so for that you can open your app.component and here you can add a class animate class and give it any animation so let me pick a quickly different kind of animation yeah this is very interesting i'm going to give this one to this property all right and i will wrap it in scare brackets so that i could add dynamic variables here and here you can check if there is animate class then use the that one otherwise use the default one okay okay now we have used ternary operator 
and now uh, let's add another button and on click event we will add this class to it so i will cut it from here and add click event and set the value for the animate class that would be equal to this okay now let's give it a try so you can see that right now uh, let's see what is the default class that was given to it so there is no space between these two classes that's why it was not working so add a space here and now you can see that it is working and it will keep animating but if you click on the hello button then it will change the animation like this and it will keep doing it forever all right that's how integrate animate.css into an angular 17 project you have seen how easy it is to add stun add stunning animations with just a few lines of code experiment with different animations and see how they transform your ui if you found this tutorial helpful then please give it a thumbs up share it and don't forget to subscribe for more angular tips and tutorials happy coding see you next time